I would imagine one of the upsides of having been in that neighborhood growing up is it allows you to have perspective and you know additionally since you've become really successful you've gone back done work in the community done a lot of positive things my guess would be one of the downsides is you know with having grown up in that neighborhood there are people who you know aren't involved with the best stuff who can still get access to you because you know people there and I guess it all came to a head your brother told me when uh, yeah, at one point one of the guys from the neighborhood says to your brother you know if we kidnap your kids that being your brother's kids would Jerome pay how did you handle it uh, you know I, and initially I thought okay well bring it game on really and, and so it was like you know, the, I mean, the competitive side of me said, all right, if that's what we need to do, then we need to, I need to revert back to my old ways, and then if I need to carry a gun, then I need to do that. And and then it hit me like, whoa, 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 whoa that, you cannot think that way. But when it's talking about your family, then, you know, the defense mechanism jumps in immediately. Wait, wait a minute, what? You gonna kidnap, what? And so you immediately, meet the aggression with aggression and then you think about it and you say that you, you can't you can't do that I can't walk around carrying a gun um, and so you you quickly realize that you know what you have to divorce yourself from that situation you have to remove yourself from that and not allow that to be able to come into fruition. And I think you and your brother actually end up sitting down with the guy. Uh, take me into the room and what that discussion's like. Well, it, it was, it was, it was explaining to him what, it was explaining to him what that actually means. Because, you know, you don't, sometimes, you know, guys say things and they don't understand the significance of them especially you know when you're when you're in a different environment okay well I do and I understand how significant that is and so my brother as well he understands how significant that is and that that's not a joke it's not funny uh, and so we had to explain to him do you understand really what that means uh, and so, and, and once, you know, he understood it and he's, oh, I'm, you know, he didn't, <clears throat> didn't mean that, <clears throat> didn't mean that, but you said it and it was a thought. <clears throat> and if you think it, then maybe somebody else thinks it. And so, you know, you had to explain to him as a friend, because we were friends, uh, that those are very, very serious words, and words that can cause a different effect. You know, you gotta understand that. So once, once we, we had a, you know, under, uh, understanding of what that all meant, then we were able to get past that. 